Yo, Aquarius, sis, sis, sis. What's good with you? Glad to be back. Glad that you're back. For those of you who this is your first time, I'm glad you're here. Got gratitude for you all. Now, I may cuss, but I don't curse. Let's get that situated first. Bars. Um, there'll be a website link in my description box where you can arrange an appointment with me via Google Meet. Pause, because that's crazy. And or... That's for um, you know, a personal reading, but and or you could purchase a test to my online school. I have a new online school launched off. The only course at the moment is Astrological Basics, which covers the signs, the planets, and the houses. In order to obtain the literature necessary to pass the test, you have to go to the Rated Benjamin YouTube Tier 2 membership. Sign up for the membership to get the literature. It's like three videos. You listen to, then you go purchase the test, go online, take the test. You need a hundred to pass. It's 20 multiple choice questions, five points each. Should you fail, you can continue taking the test over and over again. One time fee payment, you don't have to keep paying for it. All right. And when you pass, I can mail you a certificate degree like this one. I send it to your baby father house, your baby mama house, to big mama house. You know, I could send it to your P.O. box. I could send it to your P.O., you know, get you off early, whatever. But with that being said, let's get these cards right. Bars. One, two, three cuts. This is the situation at hand for the Aquarius energy. Justice in reverse. This is how you feel about the situation at hand. Two of Pentacles. This is that. This is the <laughs> the factor to consider regarding the situation. The Eight of Cups. All right. Let's talk about it. Um. There's an air of almost deceit. It feels like deceit because people are being dishonest. I'm getting this as more than one person. So it might just be you and another party involved both being dishonest with yourselves or with each other. What this is causing you to feel is the need to think about partnership in a way to see, well, who is qualified to deal with the money part of what's going on here? Um, so it's like all parties included are being testy, like they're being manipulative in a way that's kind of like underhanded. And reason being is because you want to base this assessment on how you manage your finances when it comes to business. So it's kind of like you want to see how a person handles information provided to them. What's their response? What do they say to you in response to what it is that you said? Or what it is that you've done. Even what it is that you've not done. Sometimes what I'm getting here is silence speaks volumes. So in a situation, let's say like if you send someone a, a message in their inbox. Or they to you. And it's been read visibly. But there's been no response. That can be taken so many different kinds of ways. And your attitudes is so be it. That's the point. This is intentionally being done. It's a sort of trolling, which is kind of um, sinister, if you ask me. At least in this vibe, in this reading, it's sinister because I feel like there's a different way that that approach can be exercised. Or there's a different way that this can be done. It doesn't need that approach. Um... This is for the sake of manipulating, manipulation, not only 
any manipulation. What's going to happen is this, though. Oh, this is the factor to consider. The parties involved are going to become emotional behind this. But not just any type of... The people involved with this who are going to feel wronged, they actually possess emotional intelligence. They, ha they place a large value on emotions. So they're going to be smart enough to walk away from you altogether. They're going to abandon whatever plans was in the structure. They're going to let go. They're going to surrender to the shit. And I get that not for nothing. It could be something that's abundant. It's an eight card, the factor to consider. But abundance comes in many forms. So what I'm getting here is they're going to catch on that it's financially related, that they're being their emotions are being manipulated for financial satisfaction. Because I get that you're trying to base your business around making sound decisions that have nothing to do with emotions or emotional connection at all. And once they peep that about you, they're going to see that you undermine the value of emotions. And they're going to see you're doing it just for financial things. So while you're seeking financial abundance, they're wise enough to know that you're overlooking the value of emotional abundance. Because emotions plays a factor in abundance. You've heard it before. You've seen people with all the cash in the world and they're miserable fucks. No one wants to hang out with them. No one wants to be around them. And the people that do, they're yes men, yes women, and they're there for the bag. They'll tolerate any type of um, manipulation emotionally, financially, spiritually. They'll, they'll take it all for the money. And... Again, what I'm getting here is, I don't know if all the people involved are going to leave you, but a, a, a good majority of them are, because this is a, a eight card. Now, this is not an outcome card, so this can potentially happen if you don't change your mindset. And I'm not telling you to do it or, or not to, you know, I'm just reading the cards and telling you how you're on it right now. And again, there may be parties and individuals involved with this because this is a major arcana. So this is not no nothing that's just outright personal, but this is the situation at hand. So they may be play, they may be playing the game with you. Some of these people, okay? They may even be playing the game with you to give you rope because this is a Pisces card. So the toleration with Pisces energy is very high. They can play pot or the energy can play possum to a very high level. What during the whole time, what they're actually doing is just giving you enough rope to hang yourself so they could like checkmate you and say, oh, yeah, you said it like they, they're just waiting for you to say it, like say it the way that say it with your chest. And then they're going to be like, oh, yeah, OK, well, I'm out of here. And again, the ones that do remain and stay under your guise, under your, your your manipulation, they'll be there. But expect there not to be any type of emotional fulfillment is all I'm saying. Until next time.